look. Let's look at the Tekken 8 new, the new Tekken 8 charts. Unfortunately, they're straight from Reddit, which means they're from the user, not quite factual. My dearest friend, Elliot Faye, has not recompiled these charts and made them look very pretty for the Twitter, uh, for people who don't use Reddit. So uh, I figured I'd get to them before he does. So instead of waiting around for Mr. Ali FA, we'll just do it ourselves. Yeah, there's the Beanie 28 slur in chat. If you guys want to use Beanie 28 slur in chat, come drop by the Twitch stream where we do this live and then post it to you after. Duh, you could be seeing this live instead of waiting. Anyways, let's turn back on some tunes and talk about, and talk about this Tekken 8 new rank distribution. These are actually from a giant subset of replays that were compiled by a, by a, um, some sort of a bot that he used, a code that he used to scan through replays. He also only considers, he only considers people's highest rank character in all of the rank distribution and in all of the win rate charts and for, um, character popularity, right? So, we can go through here, and it looks like it's still somewhat of a bell curve. We still got Garyu as the highest rank in the game, but it looks like the amounts have changed a little bit, right? It looks like more people have made it to Fujin. Fujin's actually higher than Battle Ruler. I don't believe that was the case before, uh, but there's still a giant influx of new. There's a giant influx of new players, which is cool, right? So the new players, this is this hasn't bottomed out. It's actually started to rise. Which means that there's more there's a giant influx of new players in the game, which is a good thing. Probably from like the bigger streamers trying it, maybe the Tekken Say Jam Slam Jam, whatever it was called. That thing was really sick if you guys didn't watch that. Um But still Garyu being the most popular rank. Still if you're in Garyu, you're still better than it looks like at least fifty percent of the players who are playing the game. Probably even more now with the giant influx of new players. Uh, and then we have the character play rates. And I kind of want to look at each one individually. So we have uh, most popular characters all. So this is the entire play rate for all characters, not just a high level, not just at low level. Uh, we have King. We'll only look at like the top 10 characters, which is pretty cool. So at number one, we got King. Number two, we have Reyna. Number three, Jin. Number four, Quarong. Number five, Drag. Six, Kazuya. Victor at seven. Azusen at eight. Steve at nine. And Law at ten. Right? Uh, nothing too surprising here. I'm actually gonna be a little honest i'm surprised there is one surprise here that steve is somehow in the top 10 i think that's the only big surprise here i don't know if people just really like boxers or if steve is just like a really aesthetically cool looking character or something to a lot of people would not have expected to see uh, mr steve all the way up here the bottom five is i think the same as it was before panda zafina shaheen leroy kuma claudio i think that's the bottom six and that hasn't changed my character's right outside of that raven one of my other characters is in there sad days leroy uh, and then we'll look at the popularity high rank. So here's the popularity for high rank. Dragonov with a fuck ton of character. Dragonov and King almost tied for about 2,000. Then we have Reyna sitting at like 1750. Same with Jin. Yoshimitsu gets a huge jump up. Wasn't even inside of the top 10 before. And now here they are. In uh, I, You know what? That's actually kind of funny. That means that if you're playing Yoshimitsu, you're carried. Yoshimitsu wasn't in the top 10, and now he is. Same thing with Brian. Brian wasn't in the top 10, and now he is. So if you're playing these characters, you're carried. Let's go. Enjoy your carried character. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm really happy for you. And then we can go all the way to the bottom five again, and it looks like it's the same. We see Panda, Zafina, Leroy, Shaheen, Kuma, and Claudia. I think my, my face may be in the way of some of these. I apologize. Maybe we'll move myself off to the side. We don't need we don't need my face for any of these things. Uh, I kind of want to just look at the win rates real quick too. Uh, so, win rates overall, Fang has the highest win rate across all ranks, right? Not just the higher, not just the advanced, which is good. Uh, Kuma, Alyssa, Panda, Jack, Dragonov, Claudio, Nina, Zafina, Lars. Is that top ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn, I'm fucking good at this. Uh, so. I can actually actively explain what's going on here. Because as you see all the way in the bottom, we see uh, Reyna. Reyna is one of the most popular characters in the game, but it looks like that lower level players are really dragging her through the mud, dragging her win rate down. She has a less than 45% win rate. Right, so she is being dragged down by like worst players playing her because she's such a cool and interesting character for a lot of people. So people continue to try to play her. Fang, 
Very good. Very carried. Not even in the top 10 characters played, even in high rank, right? But still happens to be the number one character win rate in the game. Kuma, Alyssa, Panda, Jack. I can explain, and Zafina, I can explain all this to you. People don't know what the fuck these characters are doing. Whether they're strong or weak is besides the point. I think Jack has a pretty high chance of being a good character. Same with same with Zafina. I don't think Zafina is as bad as people say, but people don't understand what Panda, Kuma, Alisa, Jack, and Zafina are doing. So these characters actually get away with, uh, even Lars. I think these characters get away with murder versus the vast majority of the player base because... I'm gonna let you guys know the vast majority of the player base. I don't care how how dedicated you think Tekken players are. Most players don't fucking lap. Most players get their ass by something, complain about it, and just keep throwing their face into the rank ladder. They don't give a shit about going into the replay. Uh, I'm 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 players. Win rates advanced. So now we can see uh, Panda is the highest r winning character in advanced, followed by Zafina, Shaheen, Kuma. Alisa, Claudio, Dragonov, Nina, Devil Jin, Leo. Is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Damn, I'm good at this. Let's fucking go. So we see that when you get to the advanced win rates, some of the more not understood characters are still in here, right? So you still see the, the Alisa, you still see the Kuma, the Zafina, and the Panda. But Lara starts to drop off because in these ranks, there are more people who decide to lab. Um... Maybe not against the Bears, clearly, right? So some of the other janky characters did fall out, but not all of them. Dragonov is significantly higher. No, actually, Dragonov, it looks like he stayed in the exact same spot. Wow. Uh, Fang is a little lower. So he's not, it looks like he's not going to carry you all the way. Alisa is still very high. I think they dropped from third to fourth or fifth. Kind of surprising. And Claudio actually gets higher. Gets one placing higher. Very cool. Nice. Uh, and I think, oh, here's the percentiles for each rank, right? So we'll start with orange, which is Vanquisher, Dominator, Eliminator. If you are in Vanquisher, you are in the, you are better than 51% of the players. I believe this is what this means. 51. Uh, Destroyer, you are better than 45% of the players. Eliminator, you are better than, uh, I'm bad at math here, 39% of the players. Garyu, you are better than 27% of the players, or vice versa, you are in the, whoa. I think I might be doing that backwards. If you're in the 73rd percentile, you're better than 30, than 73% of players. So you're in the top 27%. Kind of redo those numbers for the other, the orange ranks. Oopsies, I messed that up. Uh, and then we'll just go straight to Mighty Ruler. Mighty Ruler, it's, um, you're better than, you're in the top 11% of players. And then we'll look at Fujin, you are in the top 3% of players. Very, very cool. And it, of course, just goes down from there big time. Uh, you are in the upper echelon if you make it to God of Destruction or Tekken God Supreme, of course. I think if you make it to Fujin, you're doing well for yourself. In this chart, he decided to use purple ranks as the advanced win rates, which is fair, right? Some people consider even Garyu advanced because you're better than this many amount of players, which is pretty cool. In Garyu, you're already better than 73% of players, but... Um, there's a giant skill gap, I want to say, between Garyu's and Fujin's most of the time, right? Uh, so, kind of pick and choose where you aim for, but you're allowed to like and end at whatever rank you are at or want to get to. Nothing wrong with that. So, and here is the last thing that we can look at. And this is the February 15th rank chart versus the rank distribution comparison versus the new one, which is March 1st. So, I'm a little late to this. 11 days late. Oopsies. Uh, beginner rank hasn't changed too much. First Dan, a giant influx of new First Dan, Second Dan's, Fighters, and all of the lower ranks. It starts to bottom out when it comes to... I believe it starts to shift in the favor of the new chart being above with Dominator. right? Except for Gary, you. Uh Dominator seems to be the new... Uh, middle of the road where there's the most amount of players. Before it was Garyu. Uh, or maybe that's percentage via player base, yeah. And it looks like Raijin, uh, it has a huge step down from Ujin. And it looks like a lot of people are just stopping at Tekken King, because that is a lot bigger than it was before. So these are just the things that we see with the new rank charts and character popularity charts. Nothing, nothing 
changes the way that you want to play the game. You don't have to look at this and say, man, I'm not where I want to be. I'm not in the second God of Destructions. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> but it's interesting things to look at. If you want to share these with someone, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you learned something new today, uh, comment down below about how you feel about your rank, where the rank distribution is going. So this means Devil Gen isn't OP. It just means that the vast majority of Devil Gen players are dog shit. That's what that means. Right? It seems like Ozzy Sinna carries, right? So yeah, fuck Ozzy Sinna, I guess. Right, if you've got some choice words for any characters here, any ranks here, leave them down in the comment section down below. And this has been Beanie Thuggish talking about the new Tekken 8 metagame data from Reddit, signing out and saying peace.